Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be talking about why I think Real Betis would be a very good team to use for a career mode in La Liga on FIFA 22. So we're basically going to be talking, so basically over the next few um, weeks, months, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to be talking about some, you know, interesting clubs that have an interesting, you know, interesting projects in real life, having good seasons in real life, you know, and clubs with different philosophies all across Europe. And today we're going to be talking about La Liga's, you know, La Liga's underdog team really this season, Real Betis, who are having a very, very good season this year. Of course, they're currently fifth in the table. They actually spent about three months inside the top four. They were even in third place there a few weeks ago in the table. But like most underdog teams do, they kind of do drop off in and around this time of the season. But again, fifth place for a club like Betis is no matter what happens, a very, very good season. So, you know, it's really good to see them doing well. And I'm basically going to be talking a little bit about the history of Betis, their project in real life, their ambitions and all that. So Betis elected a president or, well, they're, they believe they're a fan-owned club. But uh, anyway, their president came in in 2017. His name was Angel with a very, very ambitious project. And obviously, Real Betis are a club based in the city of Seville. Of course, Sevilla are their main rivals. And basically, Angel's, you know, ambitions was for Real Betis to become a regular top six club. Kind of like Sevilla, I suppose, you know, kind of be in the top six six a lot do well in the Europa League you know even qualify for the Champions League the odd year and um, it's kind of only been the last kind of two seasons that his ambitions have really you know came into play and has done well so in the 1718 season which was his first season in charge Real Betis finished sixth in La Liga under of course Kike Setien of course the manager well he's out of management right now of course he was the manager of Barcelona there for a while they finished sixth in um, La Liga, which was a very, very good season for them. Um, and they lost some good players that summer, and then they kind of finished 10th the season before. And then two players, you know, two fairly household names, and of course, Danny Savayas and Fabian Ruiz left the club. Savayas, I think, I see, I think Savayas actually might have left the, the 2018 summer. I'm not entirely sure. He went to Real Madrid. Of course, he spent a couple of years on loan at Arsenal there. And then Fabian Ruiz uh, left for Napoli, and a few other good, you know, young players that also left Real Bet and then um, but um La Celso as well from um, went to Spurs he was another good one um that did really well there but in uh, the summer of 2019 the one that got a lot of attention on the international stage was the signing of Nabil Fakir from Leon um for I think it was around 20 million euros and of course Fakir was really, really close to signing for Liverpool um, in the summer of 2018, the summer before, but for whatever reason, the deal didn't fall through. There's some rumours that it was down to a... Uh, some sort of a knee injury or something, but I don't know. I don't know exact. I don't know exactly what squats are what um what prevented that from happening. But he is you know Betis's best player. He's I think he's eighty five rated on FIFA. But that season, the nineteen twenty season, they had a very disappointing season. They finished fifteenth in the league, which was you know really really bad for them. They had lots of players who weren't really performing. But in the summer of twenty twenty. This is when, you know, the change started to happen. They decided to appoint a uh, former Manchester City, West Ham, Malaga manager, Manuel Pellegrini, uh, of course, a Premier League winner at Manchester City. Um, he came in, he made a few new signings. They kept a, you know, very similar team to the season before and he had a brilliant season, finishing sixth in La Liga um, in the 2020-21 or <laughs> the 2021 season I should have said um, which was a great season for Betis you know to finish that um, you know that that high in the table which of course qualified them for the Europa League and uh, yeah and that's kind of 
been going on from them. And they didn't make many signings in the summer. I think William Jose came in. Of course, they signed their new goalkeeper as well, Rui Silva as well. They didn't sign many players at all in the summer. They had a very quiet window. But this season, they've been doing really, really well again. Obviously, like I was saying at the start of the video, they're challenging in the top four race. Uh, Bork and Glessi has actually just scored there, actually, in the game just that I'm playing here on screen, of course, having a really good season. They've got William Jose on loan from Saucy Deb. They've got a player called Juan Mi as well, of course, the former Malaga player. He's also in great form. Juan Mi. Probably having his best season in his career. I think he scored like 10, 11 goals so far this season. Um, So Juan Mi, the left winger, is having a brilliant season. Kind of been one of those kind of surprises for the team. We're going to take a quick look at the squad here, obviously, and where... In my opinion, for your career, you know, what part of the squad needs needs strength. I'm basically giving you a guide to, you know, the team and such. So, obviously, their striker is Inglesias. And Inglesias and William Jose are kind of, you know, rotating kind of between every game. You know, Jose plays one. You know, it's a nice combination, you know. Um, you've got, of course, Nabil Fakir as well, 85 rated. The one thing I will say about Inglesias is he's not going to improve much. He's 28 years old, so. So, you know, you probably if you want to get a better striker, um, I'd recommend to do so. But that's completely up to you. You've got Juan Mi, of course, as well. Like I was explaining a few minutes ago, probably having his best season of his career again. Twenty eight years old and. 75 rated on FIFA, he should get an upgrade in my opinion, I find it ridiculous that EA haven't upgraded him with how well, he should be at least a 79 or an 80 rated player, they should well have um, upgraded him, I think I am actually online here while uh, recording this, but he is having a brilliant season in real life, so I would recommend strengthening the left the left mid position because look on me doing great in real life but on FIFA very low rated you've got Gordardro here the veteran uh, midfielder the Mexican CDM this is the form or the formation the Pellegrini uses the two CDMs the cam and then the two um the two wingers um but like I say you can do whatever formation you want You've got Canales, of course, as well, who's um also having a very good season. 83 red. He's kind of been a good player, Canales. I've always rated him. Just injuries has kind of always prevented him from kind of, you know, from his career kicking on. So again, Canales, good player. Uh, 29, 28 years old. So he's not really going to improve much. But again, very good player to have in your squad for a couple of seasons. Um and having a very good season as well this season. And Fakir as well. The one thing I will say about Fakir, if you don't want to play with the cam, you can move him to right mid or left mid, or maybe even right wing or left wing, whatever um formation you're looking to play. That's the other thing about Fakir. He's he's kind of he's flexible, I suppose would probably be the, the right word to say. So if you want to make him a left mid or a right mid, you can absolutely do that. So yeah, and then the next players, of course, we're going to look at here, of course, we have got um Hector Bellerin, of course, the right back, who's on loan from Arsenal. He's kind of um having a great season as well this year. It's fair to say his time. I've, all, I've always been, Bellerin has always been a player that I've always rated, I've always thought he was good, even when he was really poor at Arsenal last season and the season before. I always knew he was someone that had the potential to, to do well, to be be a success but he has you know relaunched his career on loan at Betis the center back position is definitely one that needs strength and Pazella is only 77 rated so I would recommend to put him up for sale and he's like 28 29 years old as well so Pazella isn't great in all honesty but he's a good option to have he's 77 rated uh, he's, a, he's a good player but I would recommend to, to sell him and then of course you've got Mark Bartra but you know Bartra is he's he's solid he's 80 rated I would keep him in season one um if I was you guys and then of course you've got um Alex Moreno again having a brilliant season as well in um in real life Alex Moreno like one me you know probably having one of the best seasons of his career as well doing really really good and then of course you've got the goalkeeper of course Rui Silva who they actually signed from Granada back in the summer he's also having a really really good season um as well one of the best goalkeepers 
in uh, La Liga. And then, of course, you'll take a look here at the bench and William Jose. Of course, this is a bit of a strange transfer, in all honesty. The Jose one, you know, the real saucy dead, who basically are a rival with, with Betis for the top four, of course, did let him go on loan to, you know, basically a rival for the top four. But again, Jose, he's having a brilliant season um, as well at Betis. You've got Juan Me, of course, the veteran. 40 years old, won me, you know, as well, having a brilliant, brilliant season. Uh, Carvalho as well, the CDM, he's not great. I'd sell Carvalho just while the, you know, the price or, you know, while he's uh, still only 30 years old. You've got Ruiz as well. So, you know, there's room to improve in this squad. And then, of course, you've got Miranda, of course, the left back. He's got good potential. So probably after season one or two, he'll probably be 80 rated or so. So he'll probably be the one that will eventually take over from um from Moreno as the first choice and um yeah you've got some good squad depth as well so for transfers that's the next part we're going to move on to what um you know part of the team needs strengthening I would say centre back and maybe um and probably a left winger as well and probably a new centre mid now for the left winger there's a guy called Tello. Um, he's actually down in the um in the reserve section. He's not having a great season in real life, Tello. Um, but he's a good player. Seventy nine rated on FIFA. So obviously he's higher than one me. So it'd probably be better to use him for season one and go out and strengthen the midfield instead. So I would strengthen. Probably midfield, I bring in someone like Danny Savoyas from um what's the word um from Real Madrid. He'll cost you about seventeen million. Of course, like I was saying at the start, Savoyas is a Betty man, true and true. He came up through the academy, spent a good few years there. Of course, before he left for Real Madrid, and then for the centre back position, I would recommend to sign a guy called Lacroix from what's the word from Wolfsburg he's 78 rated and good and has way better potential so I'd recommend to sell uh, Montoyo Ruiz and Pazella to get him and then of course you've got some other good players in down your reserves you've got Edgar who's having a very good season in real life he's a CDM but he, he has actually played centre back um, most most of the time this season so he's a good player you could turn him into a centre back you've got Diego Lamise a right mid only I think 20 years old from Mexico he's got really good potential as well Rodri as well a right mid only 20 he's got very very good potential so you know Lenise Rodri there's some there's some good young players in the, the Betis team that will will only improve so you'll definitely have good squad depth and the other question of course I'm sure you guys will be wondering is how long will this career mode take well that's the question, but it depends, you know, you'll need a bit of luck along the way, and it depends what, what you want to do here. If you want to just have a season where maybe you get them into the top four, you maybe win the Europa League, that'll only take a couple of seasons. If you're looking to push on and maybe challenge for the La Liga, the Champions League, um, whatever, that'll probably take you four seasons. Like I was saying before in one of my guides, I did a better career mode on uh, FIFA 21, last FIFA, and it took me four seasons to do. So probably take three to four seasons, but you'll need a bit of luck along the way. Um, it will, you know, what do you call it? It will, you know, you'll need a bit of luck and, uh, you know, probably your first season probably getting top four or winning the Europa League will be your aim second season probably getting your top four status you know kind of just stabilize things and then third season start challenging for the title so I would say in and around three to four seasons this this save will will take you but it depends what you want to do or if you want to do it for longer you know it's your save but that will probably be the average three four season save um you know and you've got a the you've got a really good stadium the Benito Via Marina or I should say the Estadio Benito Via Marina is a really really good stadium so yes yeah, so if you guys did enjoy that video make sure to like subscribe I will have more team guides coming up I'm actually currently working on an Ajax one um, we've also got one of Rayo Vallecano they're another interesting club I might make one on as well and uh, yeah and the next video I'm going to have for you is going to be one of the best teams to use for a road to glory in FIFA 22 part 2 of course I did a part 1 
back in October and I said that if it got more than um eight likes I'd do a part two and it got nine likes so you know I have to stick to my word and keep my promise so I will be doing that that'll be the next video that should be dropping either either tomorrow or Thursday we'll have to see so yeah and let me know in the comment section if you're going to do a better um, career mode if you find if you found this video helpful or have you ever done a better career mode you know let me know how um how it's how you got how you got on all that kind of stuff and yeah so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video